My name is Niall Rogers, which is a combination of a river in Africa and a fantastic composer. People say I have a lot of bass in my voice for such a skinny person, but it has been that way since I was a child. I was born in New York City, where my mother and me had strange but interesting lives. When I was a teenager, I became a professional musician. My first real job was touring with a then new TV show called Sesame Street. Next, I worked in the house band at the world famous Apollo Theater in Harlem. Around that time, I met Bernard Edwards. He too had a lot of bass in his voice and he also played bass guitar. He was one of the best musicians I have ever known. We formed a production company called The Chic Organization Limited and wrote, produced, and played songs for Ashford and Simpson, Luther Vandross, Chic, Norma Jean Wright, Sister Sledge, Diana Ross, Carly Simon, Teddy Pendergrass, and Debbie Harry. After a bizarre event called Disco Demolition, we disbanded the organization. But Bernard and I continued to work individually with Duran Duran, Madonna, Rod Stewart, The Power Station, Robert Plant, ABC, Ronald Isley, Nona Hendricks, Jeff Beck, David Bowie, The B-52s, Depeche Mode, Slash, Cindy Lauper, Peter Gabriel, Jody Watley, The Thompson Twins, Mick Jagger, Eric Clapton, The Vaughn Brothers, In Excess, Paul Simon, Hall & Oates, Laurie Anderson, Sheena Easton, Grace Jones, Al Jarreau, Brian Ferry, Sting, Eddie Murphy, David Lee Roth, Narda Michael Walden, Nick Ocasek, Mariah Carey, Britney Spears, Josh Stone, Maroon 5, David Sanborn, Bob Dylan, Michael Jackson, and many others. <laughs> Chic reformed at my birthday party in the early 90s at the China Club, New York City, where Bernard Edwards, Paul Schaefer, Fonzie Thornton, Alpha Anderson, and Lucy Martin Jam. Chic did a record and Prince promoted us in his sexy mother video. We toured in Japan where Bernard passed away after the last show. I never thought I would play any Chic music without him. One year later, a Japanese promoter asked me to play Chic music in tribute to Bernard. It inspired me, and ever since, I have played Chic music more and more. Now, I'm ready to feel the gentle rain of live dance music wash over my soul again, and I want you to come along with me. The music business has changed, but the funky party people are still here. Let the rain begin. You know, and I want to talk about music evolving, and it always evolves. And um, so when I was 16 years old, or 15, or 16, something like that, 16, maybe even 17, me and some of my friends, we decided to go up to Woodstock. And we were going up to Woodstock. Uh, yeah, we wanted to hear Hendrix, and yeah, we wanted to hear Country Joe and the Fish and all that sort of thing. But we actually were in love with this band called the Children of God. And the reason why I wanted to see the Children of God because they used to have this amazing song called Do What You Want to Do. And in the middle of this song called Do What You Want to Do, they had this chromatic progression that was a series of dominant ninth chords that moved up chromatically from D to A. And I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. And this was just some sort of fusion folky band. But it was just their musical composition was the coolest thing. And it went, And they stuck that in the middle of some folk song. And I was 17 years old, and I kept that in my head. So we go back to evolution. So fast forward a couple of years later, now I have a record deal, and they want me to write for other people. So I meet this group called Sister Sledge, and they ask me to write music for Sister Sledge to help define their careers. Well, I had never met Sister Sledge. I didn't know anything about them. But the head of the record company told me that they were like family to them and blah, 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 this and that and so and so. So uh, after we pretended to act like business people, to, like we, we pretended to know what we were doing, we went home and we looked at the CEO's rap, his sales pitch to us, and they were actually the basis of the lyrics of We Are Family. So I went and I wrote... I got all my sisters with me. We are family. Get up, everybody, and sing. So I wrote that part. But here's the part that I didn't write. I sort of stole, or it evolved, from the children of God and my trip to Woodstock. So that's the part of We Are Family that we sort of all notice. But to do the proper turnaround of this chorus, it just wasn't interesting enough with the stuff that I knew. But what I did was, I took the stuff that I learned at 17 years old and stuck it in the middle of this. So by the, when we turned the chorus around,
<laughs> when I played that, when I played that for the people who were in the children of God, they didn't even recognize it. <laughs> they, I said, I stole this from you. You know, the great, the great classical composer Verdi said that, th that good composers borrow and great composers steal. I stole that right from the children of God, played it for them, and they had no idea. 